Hey everybody, Rick Sully, and I'm coming to you live from Weehawk in New Jersey. One of the coolest spots that I travel to because I get this view behind me. And uh, it is just absolutely gorgeous here today. The sun is setting and it's hitting the buildings just right as you can see. And, uh, and there's not a cloud in the sky. As far as mid-April in New York City, it does not get any better than this. Uh, so I want to talk to you a little bit about a quote uh, that I just heard from one of my colleagues, uh, Corinne Smith. And she said to me, what we think about comes about. And it is so simple, but so powerful. And, you know, I've heard iterations of it throughout my life. My father used to say what the mind conceives and believes it achieves. But I just like hers because it is so simple. What we think about comes about. And that goes both ways, right? If we think good things, there is a, a high likelihood that good things are going to happen. But if you think bad things and you talk negatively to yourself, then bad things are going to happen. Now, and, and I'm one of these, like, I believe that you put good things in the universe, that you will be rewarded. And I'm not going to go down the whole manifestation rabbit hole, because I know that's, you know, some people fully buy into it, others don't. But what I will tell you this is, just because you think, uh, let's just think of it as sports analogy, just because you think you're going to win a game, doesn't mean you're going to win the game. But if you think you're going to lose, there's a pretty good chance you're going to lose. And that applies to everything we do in our lives. But why is that? We use just such a small percentage of our minds. Why do we waste so much energy on negativity? And listen, I am as guilty of this as anybody. I beat myself up and those close to me know how hard I am on myself. And that's, it, it, it's unacceptable. It, it holds me back from being the person I'm capable of being. Uh, and I don't, I know why I do it. Uh, I'm fully aware of it. I know what I need to do to get through it, but it's easier said than done sometimes. But I am making a commitment to work on that and, and you know, trying to do meditations uh, before I go to sleep, uh, when I wake up in the morning. Uh, you know, I've been you know, praying a lot more. Uh, I've just been trying to remove negativity from my life. You know, I'm looking at the news less, on social media less, things of that nature. Because all of those things are negative and they put negativity in my mind and in my heart. So. I'm going to try to do a 180 here and focus on changing out those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. All right? Uh, and I won't get into specifics of what that's going to look like because for everybody it's going to be different. But I'm going to challenge each and every one of you to do the same. And it's just it's just a shift in your mindset, right? And, and just the wording you use when you talk to yourself. And you come out of a sales call in my world, my parlance. You come out of a sales call, man, I really screwed that up. I mean, what was I thinking? I can't believe I said that. That is not constructive. You can own it for a second and say, that wasn't my best effort. Here's what I did well. I'm gonna really focus on that next time. And I'm gonna to try to improve upon the part that I didn't do as well. You're saying some of the same things, but you're saying it in such a different way. Because you still found a, a thread of positivity that you can pull on and a foundation that you can build upon for the next call. And this goes to any line of work. And it also applies to your personal life. I don't care what you're thinking about, that you want to come about. Uh, it could be weight loss. It could be a trip. It could be a dream home. It could be a boat. It could be paying off your student debt. I don't care what it is, but if you think about it and your behaviors reflect what you're thinking about and the way you speak to yourself are reflective of both of those previous two things, then invariably, you're going to get what you want out of this life. But it all starts with here, right? We cannot think negative thoughts and talk negatively to ourselves or others and expect positive things to happen. So let's make a commitment today, all of us, to speak in a more positive, proactive, constructive way to our, our spouses, our friends, our families, our colleagues, but most especially to ourselves. And I guarantee if you do that, if you're with me on this commitment, all of us are gonna see a fundamental change in what's happening in our life. So please let me know if you uh, take the opportunity to try this, and of course, share your success stories with me because that's what, that's what energizes me, that's what fires me up, and that's what keeps me coming back because I wanna know that maybe something I said connected with one of you out there. So good luck, and remember, what you think about comes about. Have a great evening, everyone.